We hope that you all have been enjoying the show this season. I know we have. And while it's been quite an adjustment working from home, for us, spending time with our real fam has super been amazing. It's been the icing on the cake, okay? So today, we're taking a look back at some of our favorite moments from this past season as we continue to social distance and remain safe. Let's kick things off with this memorable moment. Take a look. First up, my girl, rapper Saweetie, caused a huge uproar over the weekend when she gave new meaning to securing the bag. Saweetie was doing actually a live on her IG uh, with her boyfriend Quavo, and she actually decided to dish out some relationship advice. She told her followers, if he's not getting you a Birkin, if he's not paying for your bills, then you need to throw that man back to the streets, okay? Well, a lot of women agreed that a man should be. Jeannie, stop laughing already. It's too much. Said that right, a man should be this. obviously spoiling his woman I know like me too. this. But many others thought that she was completely unrealistic. Yo, even Safari actually ended up chiming in. He was tweeting this Birkins are for serious relationships. Not a talk to me, give me attention. We only went on five dates gift. Put that work in and you get ah. a Birkin. That rhymes. <laughs> So, ladies, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Jeannie, just go in. Go ahead. Go, Jeannie. You can help herself. Okay, go, okay. Jeannie. So, look, look. First, first of all, we got to realize, guys, the gram is not real life, okay? For, I want to say first yep. that all these women that are flaunting their bags... It not, it's not always what it seems. I'm not talking about Saweetie, and I'm not talking about, you know, people who are going to sit there and, and promote that their man got them the bag. But really, at the end of the day, you could try that life and find the guy that's going to give you the Birkin all day. But at some point, you're going to be like, I need the loyalty. I need the honesty. I need the commitment. That's I need the connection. Yo, you will find, I promise you, there are men out there that love to shower their women or they love to flaunt their money. That doesn't mean he's a good man. And I'm not saying that Sweetie's saying that's all he's doing, but let's just not get focused on that. Like, seriously, are you ladies really believing that as long as you find the man who gets you the Birkin, you happy? Because I promise you, that bag ain't going to mean anything to you when you're moving out of his house or you're separating yourself from his life because you thought that Birkin meant that he was a good man. So you you am telling right me that... Wrong? That's a word. First of all, that bag... Any, it's a one-of-a-kind bag. Um, it can retain its value 80 to 120%. I, Jeannie, I had one, right? And I sold it, and I made more money off of it. So a lot of yeah. people are trying to say, oh, well, you know, you spending that much money, you could have bought a house, you could have... It's actually a really good it's investment. An investment. So, so a lot of people don't understand, it's like they, they hand-make the bag. And they're custom bags, so it's no no one bag is alike. So that's a lot of value. I think if a man is gonna spend that type of money, in my opinion, he does care about you a lot. I think he cares about you a lot, and that means a lot. And and for yeah. and for men and women, you know, to show and shower gifts, I don't see anything wrong with that. But I don't think you should. And I agree with you, Jeannie. I don't think you should value that man based on him buying you that bag. That's not right. right. But the bag he isn't going to replace you, what you. And he's gonna is, expect but the, something. He's gonna expect well, something. Yeah, he's spending that type of money. My mm. thing Garcelle, is, I want to hear what you think. We are in the middle of a pandemic. There are people who are losing their jobs. There are kids who don't have laptops to go to school or Wi-Fi to do their schoolwork. So let's focus on what's important. But if we're going to talk about Birkins, they range anywhere from twenty thousand to five hundred thousand mm -hmm. if it's a special one, right? But is that what we're caring about? Not a guy being kind, supporting, loving, and no. I mean, I'm raising young no. men. Even if they could no. afford Birkins, I don't want them buying Birkins for every girl they meet, they, they're dating, they're doing this. That's not a show of love. I mean, if it's your wife and it's a, you know, a special birthday and you can afford it, yes. But I'd rather have that money and put down on a house. I'd rather have a man who cares about me more than just buying me a bag because the bag is really to show off. It doesn't really do anything else. Do you know what I, I mean? I don't believe a lot getting... of those bags are real. I, yeah, I absolutely agree. I don't agree. believe a lot of them are There's real. There's that, too. So. There's that, too. That's true, All too. That, that, too. Is, that is Go a big ahead, point, much. too. I really think that it just depends. Every single circumstance is different, and I think it's so important that the young people that are hearing things like this and hearing about Birkins, that they recognize that every 
relationship is different. I once saw this meme on Instagram that pretty much said, um, I gave you $10, he gave you 20. You felt that he was better because he gave you more. Mm. But what he had was $200 and all I had was 10. Have you guys mm. ever seen that perspective? Meme? Yeah, 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 perspective. I saw it. Yes. I've seen it. Well, and also, why don't you just buy your own bags? Why don't I mean, you know, it's that like part. we're independent women, true independent women. We're not looking for dudes to always, you know, gift us with a bunch of yes. expensive stuff. You know, if you really want it, buy mm -hmm. it yourself and you feel a lot better. But demanding it, I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, moving right along, because we could talk about that all day. Um, our girl <laughs> Sherry Shepard recently held a huge garage sale where she sold everything from jewelry to blankets to her furniture. And Sherry said that she sold mostly everything except for one thing, y'all. Her old wedding dress that she is now divorced from the guy from. Okay, but I ain't going to get into that. She took to her Instagram to ask her followers what she should do with it. Take a look. You throwing it away? Nobody bought the wedding dress. It's a dollar, folks. I'll give it to somebody for free. I just gotta get it out of my life. You think Goodwill will take it? <laughs> Sherry said she didn't think Dress for Success takes second marriage dresses. So, ladies, what advice would you give Sherry on on doing with this 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 oh, dress? That's funny. Sherry is a really, really good friend of mine. We've been friends for over 20 years. I was at Aww. her first wedding. I know her backstory. My suggestion to her is burn that. Burn it down. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it burn down. It, burn, burn, it, down. burn it Burn it, Sherry. You don't want to keep those memories? I'm so curious that how much she originally wow. paid for it. It don't matter. No, it don't she matter didn't, much. It don't, you know, maybe somebody else, you know, might might need the dress. I mean, yes. they don't care what happened in her marriage. You know, maybe maybe someone that can't afford a wedding dress might want the dress. No, Adrian's right. And not only that, the dr wedding dresses are very easy to manipulate so that you change it a bit. You know, you can take off yeah. layers, you can you can take it in and change the silhouette. But I am with Garcelle when it nope. comes to there's some type of there's some type of who sign in the burning process yeah. or the just trashing mm -hmm. it or giving it away. Just basically getting it out of the Did you burn your yours? Life. No, I didn't. I gotta get I rid of it. I did not burn still gotta get mine, rid of it. but I left it. Did you, Where'd you leave what did it? you do, Jeannie? I left it in the house. He was still living in the house. And I was like, I'm out. I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to leave you and that wedding dress. And the dress. <laughs> OK, but this is my question, ladies. Uh, Garcelle and um, Jeannie. Yeah. Yeah. Did you keep anything from your old marriages? I kept my photo album. I kept my wedding photo album because my mom was in it, my sisters, my family. So that, to me, I can always show the boys, you know, one day. But mm -hmm. that's the only yeah. thing I kept. I didn't keep the ring. I feel like with an engagement ring, like if you get engaged, the engagement ring is for the promise of the future. If that future is no longer happening, then you give back that ring. That's the you right thing back. to do. Absolutely. I, I'm not keeping anything, but I'll probably keep a couple photos because... I don't exactly. regret, like it's not something I want to erase, it's something that happened because it had to teach me things. So so I'm not regretful of it, but I didn't keep the whole album. You kept like the whole, like I'm good with like a page. But she well, has because kids. I haven't gone through she it, so kids. it's still intact. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you probably have one of those photo albums where they're hard, where you can't tear out yes, the pages. Yes, exactly, exactly. Got you. So. That's gotcha. okay. Yeah, my the first marriage, well my day. only marriage, I kept a oh, 3D yeah. cube. Is a three, is a, 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 I gotta find it, Jeannie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it one day and I'm gonna show you ladies. Cause Please that's the only thing Please post it on the Reels Instagram page. Please post it on the Reels Instagram page. I would love to see it. I'll find it. it.